from one introvert to another, here are some three tips specifically that I use to navigate social media. However, for now, I call myself a curious creative just because even though I'm known primarily for my music, I do have a lot of interest in many things. And yeah, so welcome back to this channel. Uh, welcome to another episode of a series I am choosing to call Introverb. Um, this series is essentially designed to help communicate for me, I think what it feels like to be an introvert in an extroverted world. So introvert is a play on the word introvert and the word verb. A verb is an action word, just what it's an action word, a word that means doing something. And so <clears throat> this whole series of I'm calling introvert, I guess, is designed for those people who would consider themselves high achieving introverts or want to be high achieving despite the challenges that comes with being an introvert in an extroverted world. So welcome to another episode. This episode, I want to touch on something real quick, man. I want to talk on social media, man. Social media, we love it. We hate it. But actually, before I get started with the video, do me a favor and you know what to do. Smash the like button for the algos, for the algorithm. Um, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell notification as well. Oh, I'll get used to this, guys, I promise. But it's all real, it's all raw, so I'm going to leave all this in, in the final cut. At any rate, social media, man, we all love it, we all hate it, but um, it's almost an, avoid an unavoidable part of our lives. And I think all of us struggle with social media to varying degrees. I can definitely speak for me um, as an introvert. I find it particularly challenging because um, it can be exhausting. It can be loud. You get what I'm saying? It, it's very easy to get distracted. Um, and again, this goes for anybody, introvert or extrovert. But at least for myself, I know that it's like when I, whenever I, I have to go on social media, I kind of have to brace myself. And because it's almost like walking into a, a room filled with a thousand people, all of them just screaming as loud as they can, trying to get your attention. And you're like, ah, I don't know what I came here to do. I'm lost. And then you, you walk away feeling uneasy and anxious, overwhelmed, and you kind of need to collect yourself. But what I want to do is I want to share with you some very practical tips, some very simple things that I've been doing that are assisting me in managing my relationship with social media because I do need it for work. I do need it for what I do. A lot of us have come to depend on it. Some of us beyond just recreationally, but as an actual medium of getting our jobs done. And so from one introvert to another, here are some Three tips specifically that I use to navigate social media. Number one, pick your platform. There are a million platforms out there and many of them are constantly popping up. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, LinkedIn, et cetera, this, that, and the third. And I am a firm advocate of doing a few things well. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't do everything. Sidebar, that's one of the reasons it took me so long to decide I was gonna start a YouTube channel because I wanna make sure if I'm gonna do something, I can do it very, very well. Long story short, we're here now, we're launching and we'll keep going. So I'm a firm advocate of doing a few things well, as opposed to trying to spread yourself too thin. So what you will find is that the different media platforms kind of have like an ecosystem and kind of have a voice and a tone to them. Twitter has a different tone than Instagram does than LinkedIn does and Snapchat does and Clubhouse does now. Um, and so what I found helpful is for you to take good self-assessment I think you have a good idea of what your voice sounds like, of what your thoughts sound like, and then you just pick the best platforms that suit your voice, the platforms that you know are very suitable to how you think and how you operate, and then pick those and stick with those. I'm not saying don't ever check out anything new that comes out. You do kind of need to adopt. You kind of need to adapt rather. But it's very important that you not try to jump on every single thing because you will, in fact, burn yourself out. But rather pick the top three or however many social media platforms that you can um, conveniently manage that kind of like match your voice and then say, these are my platforms. So for me, those are Instagram. Um, that is YouTube, of course. And I kind of have Facebook just because you kind of need Facebook for anything, including your Instagram. But I'm literally most active on Instagram and I now have um, Clubhouse recently. I have a couple of invites left, so put it in the comments if you want an invite and we can talk about it. But in any case, I listen to Clubhouse because it just allows me to just kind of like walk into a room, metaphorically speaking, of course, and kind of like just absorb what's going on, what you get what I'm saying, and without necessarily having to interact if I'm not in the mood to. So pick your platform, pick a platform that is suitable to your tone of voice, that's suitable to your personality, if you will. Um, and I have Twitter, but I rarely ever tweet because to me, Twitter is just like stream of consciousness, verbal diarrhea, 
type space and my brain doesn't work that way. I'd like to be measured in my approach. So yeah, anyways, pick your platform. Pick the platform that suits you best, a couple of them, stick to it and excel at those ones. Second thing I do is I schedule my posts. The advantage of scheduling your posts is that when you do go, if you're trying to post on the spot, and I don't know who still posts on the spot, I, I, I kind of feel like this is general knowledge, so apologies if I'm being redundant. Um, but the advantage of scheduling my posts is that not only are they taken care of, and I can actually kind of like not think about it once it has been scheduled, I also avoid unnecessary distractions as opposed to trying to post on the spot and you go into the app and you see something that kind of uh, takes you on off on a different tangent. Just scheduling my posts is a way of kind of preparing myself in advance, if you will, for going into that space, you get what I'm saying? So when I go into that space, I'm going with a very specific approach. I'm going with a very specific aim, a very specific mission. And most of the times that's not supposed because my posts have already been scheduled, unless it's something that can't be scheduled, like a reel or something like that. If there are any good scheduling apps out there that you guys know of, hit me up. And the third thing is this, right? All of these platforms are designed to keep us on for as long as possible. And so it's not in fact sufficient to just post and never visit a platform and never interact with anybody. No, interaction is good. You know what I'm saying? Even as an introvert, it is important to interact with people. And so guess what? I also schedule my interactions. If anybody follows me on Instagram, you will notice that all of my posts typically go live at 5.30, anytime between 5.13 and 5.30. And I'll typically go on around that time as well or before that. The key is these blocks in my day are scheduled where I know, okay, this is a dedicated time in which I'm going to go and interact with my followers, interact with my friends, um, interact with different people, not just for the purpose of gaming the algorithm although that is part of it but also for the purpose of just like encouraging my friends and seeing what's going on in their lives you know what i'm saying but the advantage of scheduling it is that i mentally prepare that during this period of time this is what i am going to be doing and i'm able to mentally psych myself up for it and go in and do what needs to be done um, and then depending on how much self-control or how much discipline you have um, it might be helpful to actually set a timer and once your timer is up you know okay I've done my interacting for the day, my social media navigation for the day. And then you, you know what I'm saying? You dip and you've done what you need to do. But those are for me. I'm sure there are many more tips and there are many more things. I could go into far more detail on each of these different things, like picking your platform, scheduling your posts, and even scheduling your interactions. But I'll leave it there for now. But those are three tips, the introvert's guide to navigating social media. <laughs> Pick your platform, schedule your posts, schedule your interactions. Um, yeah. Chopin here, appreciate you guys for watching all the way to the end. We are eight minutes, damn, this is much longer than I wanted it to be. But if you've watched this far, I appreciate you. You know what to do. Smash the like button for the algos. You get what I'm saying? The algo gods, you know what I'm saying? We need to please them. So smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And follow me on all platforms. I appreciate y'all. Chopin, see you on the next episode. Postscript. If you have any helpful tips that you use or things that you do to help you manage your time with social media, please put them in the comments and let me know. I would love to learn from you guys. Peace.